Hey, hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with Orium Junk Journals and we are going to do some art before breakfast. So let's get started. I have four six by six papers here um, and I am going to cut these down <clears throat> to three and a quarter by six. So my stand, that's my standard tag size. It's almost always the size I cut my tags to. Okay. And then I'm just going to put the scrap aside because at some point later today I may use it for something else. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over my corner chomper. Um, this is my Crocodile We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper that does angles. And I'm going to do the large angle side at the top of each one of these to form a tag. Now this one I'm just going to set aside, but the rest of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my book, that I use particularly for this purpose, and I'm going to hopefully clip these together. So that nothing will shift. Trying to get sorry about the noise. I was trying to get my small clips. Should have had those ready, but well, I didn't. I literally just rolled out of bed and thought, I'd better film this before everyone gets up. I have slept so late the last couple of days, guys. Like, so late. Okay. Um, well, for me, it's really late. I mean, right now it's 8 o'clock, and I just barely got up. So, okay, and then I've got my craft knife. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an X right here in the middle. Okay? That's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to make sure that went through all the layers, and it did. So now I'm done with that, and I can unclip these. Okay. Now, starting with this back layer, I'm just going to tear this. Like that. And then I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to take this next layer and I'm going to tear it I want that tear to be a little larger, okay? And then I'm going to take the last layer, and I really, 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 really want to tear this one. Um, I 
may need to go back to that second layer and make that a little bigger. I don't think that's quite big enough. just like that so it should look like that then I'm going to come in with whatever ink I'm gonna want to use again I still don't need that one um, and I'm going to do Just around that. Don't worry if it gets everywhere. It doesn't make any difference. Just that hole is all that matters. I'm going to give all three of these a layer of the vintage photo. And then that bottom one, I'm going to give it a layer of the broken china. I'm going to give this middle one a layer of the hickory smoke. And then the top one, we're going to do some of the, um, why can I never think of the name of it? Peeled paint. Now these are just the colors I'm using. You, I mean, you know, you can use whatever, but, um, and whatever's going to match with your papers that you choose. Now this top one matters because we're going to see this one. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and where is my broken china? dogs in before they wake my husband. Let me get this layer done and then I will go and wake I'll go and let them in. They want to be fed this morning. They think it's time to eat. <laughs> this is their time of day, but just like that. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um anyway then let's get the hickory smoke out. And we're going to do this layer with the hickory smoke. Um, sorry about that, guys. I try really hard to be very prepared. And it's like, okay, I'm not going to have to look for anything. And then, sure enough, I'm looking for everything. And then making sure I'm in camera. I have had so much trouble with getting off camera and um, trying to fix that. And then with the peeled paint, we're just going to come around. So it should look like that. And then what we're going to do is I have in my mess of stuff here, I have sorry, just one second. Wow, I was not at all well prepared today. 
I am so sorry. Okay, um, so what I have here, or I have these little um, black and white flowers. And I thought we'd see how that would look um, for the inside. And so what I basically want to do is to... I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. No, I like that one. Okay. All right. And then Now, you could do just about anything in there. You could do a photograph. You could do um, any kind of ephemera piece. You could do, you know, just basically whatever floats your boats on that. Um, whatever you really like. I can't think specifically right now of what you might use. But, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things you could use. And so I'm going to center that. I need to make sure that this bottom piece, that it's going to be totally in there. So go ahead and take the backing off. Again, I want to make sure that it's going to okay, right about there. Okay, let's make sure I did it right. I think it did. No, it's all right. Okay. So there's that. So now I'm going to start gluing down layers. Okay. So I've got this bottom layer. This is basically done. Okay. Now I'm going to come onto this one. Where'd I put my glue? Oh, it fell. Okay. Sorry, like I said, I literally just rolled out of bed. So everything is kind of, um, this is the waking up version of me. You guys get the waking up version. Of me. I have not even had my coffee yet, and I know better than to craft before coffee. I've learned my lesson about that, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I am crafting before coffee. I tried to get up at three this morning and come out here. I actually did get up and come out here, but I sat down and I was like, mm -mm, no, can't do it. I'm too tired. And not only that, but I was really sick. Um, and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to spend all day in bed. And I was even plotting and planning. How was I going to take all of my crafting stuff that I needed to film and, um, and craft into my room on my bed tray? Um, so that I could sit in there and do my stuff because, oh my goodness, I was so sick at my stomach. I don't know if any of you take Manjaro shots, but wow, this time it really knocked me on my bottom. And it's been a few days. I mean, like normally, um, you know, it's, it's a few days and then it gets better. But um, it's been a few days, and it was really bad. Yesterday was the worst it's been this week. Anyway, enough about that.
Just glue these together. Like that. And you can do as many layers with this as you want to. So like if you say, you know, wanted five layers, you could do that. I mean, you know, I don't know that I would do just like, well, I mean, I guess you could do just three. Um, it just wouldn't have, I don't think it would have that same effect that you get um, with this like this where it's almost like a, a cave entrance type effect you know where you can see um, through all the layers can cover the backs of yours with like um, you know coffee dyed paper or whatever um, if you happen to have a double sided paper for like I did or whatever you want to do okay so now it's just a matter of decorating them um, I'm going to start with some vintage photo around the edges though real quick Um, so I have, oh no, they're dumping out everywhere. I have these woodland creatures that, um, I don't know if those are in camera, I guess they are, that I was thinking, maybe he should go there, or I could put him right there. It's not bad. Uh, 
that's really not bad. Let's see. My dog's going to get themselves hurt this morning. Because that cat's only going to tolerate them for so long. Okay, there's one sticker. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure that I like that at all. Stick it on a little further up there. Mm. Oh, that's not bad. So what I think I'll do is I think I'll trim this. And then I'm going to take this part. And bring it and put it right there. <laughs> trim this when it gets to about right there so that um, that looks more natural okay so I'm really liking the way this is coming out um, I'm gonna do a little more vintage photo around the edges and and then I'll trim that one more time. That. Okay. So then the only thing that I still want to do is I'm going to bring in some white paint. Okay, I am back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put just a little bit of this white paint right here. I'm just adding some water to this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for a splatter effect on my tag. I'm going to try to protect everything else around it because this can get a little messy. up some more of it. Okay, 
Now I kind of want to do the same thing with a green. I'm going to try and use this light green. I'm just going to put a little bit of that right here. Whoa! Oh, that was a lot of that. Okay. That probably will not need a whole lot of water to make that splatter at all. That's kind of a mess. And I didn't use my palette because I was just gonna do a little bit, but Go ahead and add some water. It's not splattering as well as I would like. It is, it's just not doing it as well as I would like. And I do get messy as heck when I do this. So, so if you're thinking, how do you keep from getting messy? You don't. You just accept the fate. So I hate that I'm wasting all that paint. Mm. So um, later today, I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to be working on this roll um, of receipt tape and making it into an ephemera roll. So I think... I'm going to let it soak up this um, paint. A little bit. Because I hate to waste it. And I'm making a terrible mess. Okay. Um, so I did decide I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of more colors. So I've got some black here. And I don't want it to overwhelm it. I just want it to look a little less Christmas by giving it a little more of, you know, that artistic splatter as opposed to snow splatter. Yes, I'm making a mess again. Um, but that's okay, because all of this will clean up. It's just acrylic paint. And then I got a little bit of yellow. Um, and so we'll have the yellow, the green, um, the black, and the white. And I think that will look pretty good. Yellow's not splattering quite as well. I don't think I've got as much water on it. But just need a little bit. So it just needs to do a little. One of the kids left a cup of water sitting over there and the cat just decided to knock it over and now I'm gonna have to go clean a mess up. Ah. 
Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so on that messy note, <laughs> um, this is this morning's Art Before Breakfast. And I'm just going to lift it up there where you can see. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I like, the only thing I don't like, I mean, is... Um, I don't like how I have that yellow splatter right over the bunny's little face. So I am going to kind of clean that up a little bit right there so that we can see his pretty little face. Other than that, I really, really like the way it came out. And yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along and I hope that you'll come back and join me for another video again soon. If you like what you saw here today, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today on this beautiful Sunday. And I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye.